So I see this, and I just know all hell's about to break loose. And it's like that Kevin Hart video where it's like, like it's about to go down. I didn't think uh, ESPN would follow up so quickly. I'm gonna go look and see if I can find the top 21, uh, top 25. Part of me, I can already think about and name probably. Okay, we got 25 athletes to go since 2000. Off the top of my head, I mean, it could be Tom Brady, it could be Serena Williams, it could be Federer, you know, Nadal, Novak to Djokovic. Like, it could be all those. And, like, if we're throwing racers into the equation, golfers, tennis players, gymnasts, like there was that gymnast that was at 86, which means where Simone Biles is going to be. Like, I guarantee you, and, I, and I've been thinking about it because I obviously, yeah, it's been living rent-free in my head. Congrats, ESPN, you win. We know it's a stupid list. Let's just cover soccer. Okay. So we got Kylian Mbappe, Luka Modric. Where's, where's Luis Suarez going to be? Where's Neymar going to be? Uh, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi's got to be up there. What about um, David Beckham? What about Wayne Rooney? What about... Um, we already talked about Messi. What about Ronaldo? Can I be honest? I don't think Ronaldo... Ronaldo's got to be on this list, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Neymar's not on this list. Hockey? We know hockey doesn't exist. ESPN doesn't know about hockey. So I guarantee you Sidney Crosby's not going to be on this list. I guarantee you... Um, gosh, uh, let's just think about... I mean, Pat Maroon won three Stanley Cups in a row. Let's give some love to goaltenders. Marc-Andre Fleury, we ever heard about him? No, probably not. Um, Andre Vasilevsky, Steve Stamkos of the Lightning. You know, he went back to back. He's accomplished. Um, what about Patrick Kane? Let's think about the Blackhawks dynasty there for a little bit in the early 2010s. Guarantee you, guarantee you none of them are on that list. So that's just hockey off the top of my head. So sorry, Sid. Um, NFL. Um, I doubt Aaron Donald is going to be on this list. I doubt... Like, I was thinking about him because defense, Aaron Donald, TJ Watt. Who else has been really good? Who's some other really good NFL players right now? I bet Patrick Mahomes is going to be on this list just because it's Pat Mahomes. But if you put Matt, Pat Mahomes, you have to put Travis Kelsey because Travis Kelsey is a better athlete than Patrick Mahomes. And then by that definition, do we put Lamar Jackson? Because Lamar Jackson's an athlete. And then we talk about athleticism. Let's And let's keep it in the realm of football. Uh, college football. Apparently, college football doesn't exist. Did we forget about Tim Tebow? Did we forget about Reggie Bush? I know y'all might not agree with this, but that's fine. Do we forget how polarizing Saquon Barkley was in that 2016 season when they won the Big Ten Championship and then 2017 to back it up, even though it wasn't as successful that year? You got to throw who else is an athlete. Let's talk about the ladies. I already mentioned Katie Ledecky the other day, Simone Biles, Serena Williams. They better be up there. Oh, this list is this list is absolutely stupid. Who's the fox? Who's the fox analyst? Let me look at it right now. It's not Hope Solo. What's her name? Played her. Her. Who's that one? Alex Morgan better be up there. Was sitting at the desk. I mean, there's Hope Solo. She's not going to be on this list strictly because of that word right there. Off-field controversies. This one. Carly Lloyd. We better put Carly Lloyd up on that list for top 25. And this also isn't mentioning women boxers like Ronda Rousey um, and Holly Holmes who beat the shit out of her. I love how ESPN's backed themselves into a corner. And and now let's think about basketball players because we know LeBron's going to be number one. Who are we kidding? LeBron's going to be number one. How can we leave these two off the list? And not only these two, Tim Duncan. I guarantee you Tim Duncan's not going to be on this list. I guarantee you Steph Curry's not going to be on this list. Michael Phelps, the women, you know, in the 2008 Beijing's. What's her name? Sean Johnson, I think it is. Off the top of my head, I can't think of it. Shaq and Kobe better be up there. Hey, you know, Allen Iverson is an athlete, so he better be up there. But if, AI, you know, if AI is up there, you know, Kyrie's got to be up there. So it just, oh, I'm just, oh, it just just show me the list already. Let's get into the list. Okay, now that I'm thinking about um, Kevin Durant in OKC, what about Russell Westbrook? You put Katie up here, you put Harden up here, you better put Russell Westbrook up here. Just saying. Just saying. What about um, Clay Thompson? What about... This list is going to be... Floyd Mayweather. Okay, boxing at 25. Okay, I saw that by the thumbnail and... 
Uh, Tarasi is probably going to be next here. But by this logic, we still better see Khabib. We still better see McGregor. We still better, like, this is so stupid. Albert Pujols, I'm okay with that. Albert Pujols is a great baseball player. Is he athletic? Probably not. Probably runs a sub 640 like me. So Kevin Garnett, I'm okay with that. 23, Kevin Garnett. Okay, if Kevin Garnett's there, I better see Shaq. We better see Tim Duncan. We better. Okay, look, they played together from 97 to 2003. So guess what? Uh, David Robinson better be here. Better be up here. Give themselves in two. There's Sid. Okay. Sidney Crosby at 22. All right. All right. My hatred has gone down a little bit because they gave a little bit of love to Crosby at 22. But I guarantee Patrick Kane's not up here. Diana. T okay. Aaron Donald. Wow. You guys are just shocking me here. Aaron Donald. Louis Hamp. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. There's Patrick Mahomes. We got to glaze Patrick Mahomes a little bit. There's Shaq. Shaq at 17. There's Tim Duncan. Yeah, they're like, quick, quick, let's get Shaq and Tim Duncan out of the way, quick. Because we know LeBron's going to be one. There's Katie Ledecky. There's Steph Curry. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. There's Rafael Nadal. There's Novak Djokovic. Okay, I don't even want to see top 10 now. This is... Okay, there's Kobe. Kobe at 10. Okay. We'll see. Usain Bolt at 9. Okay. Tiger Woods at 8. All right. Simone Biles at 7. Okay. Roger Federer at 6. Okay. Tom Brady at 5. He deserves to be on this top 100, but here's the thing. Tom Brady's not. Tom Brady's damn good at football. He's the best player at football. You look at Tom Brady. He's not athletic, though. Who's more athletic? Tom Brady? Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes is so much more athletic. But Tom Brady's a better quarterback, though. I don't know. Like, Aaron Donald's a better athlete than Tom Brady. We're looking at key accomplishments. Seven. Time Super Bowl champion. Five times Super Bowl MVP. So that's why. It's because he holds every single record possible for football. LeBron James at four. Oh gosh. Then I would guess Serena Williams is at three. Messi's at two. And Michael Phelps is at one. Messi at three. Okay, I'm okay with that. Serena Williams at two. Yep. Yep, there we go. Michael Phelps at number one. And it should be like that. It, gosh. This is such a stupid list. Like, and like respectfully, LeBron James is a better athlete than Serena Williams. One-on-one -on, -one, on a basketball court, LeBron James is kicking the hell out of Serena Williams. We know this. One-on-one -on, -one on the tennis court, LeBron James against Serena Williams. That's yet to be determined. I'd like to see that. Like, we all know about that one video where Serena Williams and her sister got their butts kicked. But, like, for example, put Roger Federer against Serena Williams. Put, uh, l l like, for example, and this is where this, again, this list is very subjective. It's an interesting list because there's context to everything. Okay, let's put Simone Biles, Tiger Woods, and Usain Bolt. Okay? Usain Bolt's the center. Tiger Woods is the guard. Simone Biles is the tackle. Okay, you got Aaron Donald in a three-point stance. Are those three going to be able to triple-team him and stop him from getting to the quarterback? No. Is Louis Hamilton going to be able to plug up the three technique like Aaron Donald does? No. Absolutely not. This is stupid. Where's um? Where's Lindsey Vaughn? Did we forget about Lindsey Vaughn? I guess she doesn't exist. Tim Tebow, Reggie Bush, Saquon Barkley. Where's... Now that I'm thinking about Olympic athletes, um, where's Apollo Antoine Ono? Where's Vince Carter? What the hell has Louis Hamilton done in his career that's better than Aaron Donald? That's better than Sidney Crosby? That's better than KG? That's better than Pujols? That's better than Floyd Mayweather? Like, for example, you throw Floyd Mayweather 
and Louis Hamilton into the boxing ring? Who? Floyd's winning that. Now, if you throw Floyd into a Formula One car, obviously Lewis is going to win it. But now let's meet on common ground. Let's throw a basketball in between them. Mayweather is probably going to win. Let's do just athleticism of like speed. Who can run faster? Who can jump higher? Probably Floyd. Like, it's subjective, man. It's all opinion based. Okay, Sidney Crosby. We put Sidney Crosby, put him in some basketball shoes, give him a basketball. He goes one on one with Diana Taurasi. Who's winning that? Probably Sid. You put her on skates with some pads and a helmet. Can she beat him one on one? I'll say this too. The person who probably made this list to their core and to their heart, which which is totally fine, is they're probably a fan of swimming and they're probably a fan of tennis. Because why would they have a swimmer, a tennis player, male or female, I don't care, but they have a swimmer, a tennis player, and a soccer player all above a football player. And we know Tom Brady's not even the most athletic football player since 2000. Two tennis players. We got two basketball players. We got three Olympians, one soccer player, and one golf. This list is so stupid, but you don't need me to tell you that twice. Like, it's a really silly list. So mind your damn motherfucking business, bitch. Little stupid bitch.